Hi students, video cylinders for section of cylinders for a vertical cylinder 50 mm diameter 60 mm axis 50 mm diameter 60 mm axis standing on its base standing on its base is cut by a cutting plane parallel to VP cutting plane parallel to VP passing through 10 mm away from the vertical axis. Where is the vertical axis? This is the plan of the vertical axis. This is the elevation of the vertical axis. When the cutting plane is parallel to VP, it must be visible in the plan. HP at inclined at VP at perpendicular at cutting plane elevation. HP at perpendicular VP at angle 0 angle or angular angle of the cutting plane plan in your hand. A cutting plane which is perpendicular to HP will be visible in the plan and a cutting plane that is perpendicular to VP will be visible in the elevation. Here the cutting plane is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP so it is visible in the plan. What do you do? You take 10 mm in your radius or compass and draw an arc. Then parallel to the arc, draw the cutting plane HT. Agree? I am not taking any generator for the cylinder. Why? This cutting plane is not going to cut any of the generators. Why do we take generators? In the generators in the cutting plane where you can adjust in the cylinder and adjust in the other cutting plane, e generator and cut in the points mark here the tana sectional views where you can true shape where you Since there is no visible edges for the prism, I mean for the cylinder, since there is no visible edges for the cylinder. We take generators and mark the points where the cutting plane cut these generators. Here, this cutting plane which is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP does not cut any of the generators and therefore I do not take any of the generators. Agree? Okay. Now, where all does it cut? It cut the base at 1, top at 2, top at 3 and base at 4. Base at 1, 2, 3, Four, only four points. Which portion you will remove? You will remove this portion. To indicate that this portion is kept, what do you do? You will darken it. What message you are giving? You are saying that this is kept and this is removed. Okay, finished. Sectional plan is over. Now you have to draw the sectional elevation. What do you do? Project one, two, up. One dash, exactly on top of that is two dash. Project this up. Three dash and four dash. Hatch this. What have you completed? You have completed the sectional elevation. This is sectional plan, this is sectional elevation. There is no need of a true shape. Why there is no need of a true shape? Since the cutting plane is parallel to VP, the sectional elevation itself gives true shape. So you can say true shape. If somebody asks in the examination, draw the true shape. You can draw this and put an arrow and write there true shape. That is sufficient. You need not draw an additional true shape here. I hope you understand. Very simple question. Such questions may not come for the examination because it is so simple for to be an examination level question. Okay. Thank you.